This is Carol Lynn with Hollywood First Look, and right now I'm here in Houston, Texas with Netflix celebrating their brand new series, Mo. Let's take a first look. Mo is a dramedy co-created and starring Mohamed Amer as the title character. Centered in Houston, Texas, Mo straddles the line between two cultures, three languages, and a pending asylum request while hustling to support his Palestinian family. He does his best to navigate through his complicated yet loving relationships with his family and his longtime girlfriend, Maria. I wrote the flashback about nine years ago, which is in episode seven, about how we fled the Gulf War and how my mom got us out of there. And, um, you know, I just couldn't shake this idea, like this of a short film. And I just went away like for four days straight, just thinking about it, thinking, thinking about it. And I, you know, I'm really musical. So I, I the, the music really inspires the story for me sometimes, or the visuals. And I was listening to uh, a track that was made famous by Elvis Presley. It's not his originally, it's called That's All Right. And the whole song is That's All Right, Mama. Uh, that's that's all right with you. <laughs> and so that's like that song was like perfect for me, and I started imagining the entire. Um, I started visualizing the entire opening really cleanly, and I and I felt butterflies. I was like, oh my god, what was happening there? And I started sharing it with my friends, and it became like like a great hit with my friends who are highly respected artists and like icons they were just like man you need to make this into a series so i sat on it for years and i just kept accumulating stories and putting together um these ideas until the time came i'd love to know where you found the heart of maria uh, a family just in family i think i learned that Muslim uh, culture like Mo and mine are very very close in the in the sense that we the first thing that we care about is family and and loyalty and not forgetting who we are where we come from. Um, I think we both have the same same experience of as being born in a different country and having come to this country very young. So there was there was that place where we both met and our characters also meet there. So you know, I know that Dave Chappelle is a good friend and he's a mentor. Did you have any conversations with him in terms of, hey, you know what, you're about to do this series, the series is coming out, here's some words of wisdom, my friend, as you put this out into the universe? Yeah, his whole thing was like, trust the work, trust the effort. And he goes, I don't know anybody that's worked as hard as you did. Because we did like the, uh, we did, we were doing shows during the pandemic in Ohio and there were, everybody was having fun and I was just writing. Uh, they would leave, they would literally leave at like 5 p.m. and people would come back around 4 or 5 a.m. at this bed and breakfast. I would be still sitting at the same spot, writing, thinking, uh, uh, just pondering and daydreaming. Just, it was just that kind of effort that went into it. He's like, Mo, you have to trust the work that you put into it and everything I've seen is dope and you have to trust that and you leave it you leave you leave it out there that's it you put the work out there and it was like 20 hour days pretty regularly and and that's what it takes to put out a, a real uh, grounded television series and and that's what I did so I trust the work you have a tendency to love to play these strong women Isabella from Marcos Maria here at Mo tell me about when you know that it's going to be a character that it's, it's going to click with who you are as a person well the funny thing is is I never think that they're strong at all, no. I think uh, they struggle, and I think they're very uh, vulnerable. But because they push through it, I guess is what gives a perception of strength. But in reality, these are just women that are just trying to get with life. And that's what I like about this show, that it's so real in the sense of having a dream and the road, the roadblocks. And either you go around them or you break them. And, and I think these characters do it together with joy with family, with community, in the neighborhood, you know, I think, I think it's like, in that sense, it's like one of the most beautiful things I've ever done. What would you tell that little boy that came into Houston all those years ago that this is what your life is going to be like when he grew up? Um, I think about this question all the time. It's so amazing that you're asking it. I always think about like going back to him and telling him to buy some Facebook stock. No, I'm kidding. No, uh, Apple, man, Apple. He's like, what? Just shut up and buy some Apple stock. No, I, uh, <laughs> I, I sincerely think about it all the time. And I think like, hey man, trust yourself. Uh, there's gonna be moments where you doubt it. 
people are going to doubt you. People very close to you might doubt you. Uh, they might look at it as as laughable, but you know, there's no substitute for your own vision, for you having a strong idea of what it is and sticking to your guns and seeing it through. And you only fail when you quit. Mo will be available to stream on Netflix August 24th. This is Carolyn, and I'll see you next time.